You can't move to Massachusetts, not unless you know these five things. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Swerk. You know, I'm a local real estate expert right here in the state of Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Kelly Williams Realty. Now, welcome to our channel. What do we talk about? We talk everything Massachusetts, whether it's eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, uh, you name it, we talk about it. Today, we're talking about the five things you need to know before you move to the state. So you definitely wanna hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, so that way every time we make a new video, you're gonna get notified. And give us a thumbs up, because we love encouragement. Um, so you have questions, we have answers, you can get in touch with us so many different ways. One thing you gotta know, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. Hey everyone, so we've been getting tons and tons of questions uh, from people moving to the area. Recently we've helped about um, about a dozen people come in, uh, relocate to Massachusetts, and we've, we're getting the same questions over and over again. Uh, we're trying to warn people from making the same mistakes. So we said, you know what, let's make this video, uh, try to be a precursor, a little heads up for people that are coming to the, uh, to the area. So the first thing we wanna talk about, no different than a lot of places in the country, um, our real estate market is still really hot here. Um, you know, Massachusetts has amazing jobs, amazing culture, uh, amazing schools. So there's no wonder, you know, that there's so much demand here. And of course, just like the rest of the country, there is a housing shortage. Um, so the reason we wanted to bring this up is that uh, it might take a little bit longer than you expect as far as securing a place. So you want to, you know, time moves really, really fast. So you definitely want to reach out to us, you know, get a strategy call uh, booked. That way we can figure out exactly what it is you want, what you need, and then we can figure out, you know, give you some suggestions suggestions as far as where might be the best location for you. Uh, so that's the first thing you want to think about. All right, the second thing we want to bring up is that Massachusetts, I know everyone says Boston, it's not just Boston, right? There's other cities, there's other towns out there. Uh, we've had some people that have come into the area, um, you know, bringing up a price point of 400,000, 500,000, and we always want to set expectations in the city, that's not gonna happen. Uh, but you can still get a nice, you know, the three bedroom, uh, one bath, one and a half bath, uh, under 400,000. Now we have, you know, again, there's just Boston, Massachusetts. However, our second largest city, which is Worcester, Massachusetts, has a ton of options in that price range, right? So you can still get city life but maybe not right in downtown Boston. Um, and again, with our train system and our roads, everything is pretty accessible um, once you're used to traveling. So Worcester's only about 45 minutes outside of downtown Boston. So it's pretty easy to get to. Um, so that's one of the things is that we like to open people's horizon and just, okay, exactly. That's why when we sit down with someone, we say, all right, what is it you're actually looking for? Because depending on commute times, depending on different amenities they're looking for, it might not just have to be Boston, Massachusetts. All right, as far as the state is concerned, there is so many things to do. Uh, we, I mean, as far as our selection of uh, restaurants and different things to do, um, I mean, it just, it, the list goes on and on and on. And one of the things that, um, again, Tyler's our marketing behind the scenes guy. Um, however, he puts together a weekly newsletter. Um, and that weekly newsletter, a lot of people love that because uh, number one, it's gonna give some statistics as far as the local real estate markets are concerned. So you can click on those little links. Um, however, he likes to highlight local businesses and he likes to scour the internet to try to find out um, discounts as well. So whether it's free events or, you know, he'll even do the heavy lifting and going through Groupon, he puts that on there. Um, so that's something that, uh, you know, we pride ourselves in making things easy for people. And that weekly newsletter is definitely a great thing to find out what's going on as far as the community is concerned. Um, and, you know, of course, ask a local. Ask the locals what they like to do and what they like to go see. Uh, bringing up Tyler, the, he's, a, he's a bear connoisseur, right? So if you're looking to find a good brewery, uh, give him an email or shoot him an email. He'll definitely tell you where to go. Um, and that's just not for the summertime. That, that's for the wintertime too. So we're, we're in the summertime right now, but uh, where things are definitely popping. But it doesn't matter the time of year. We always have events going on. All right, number four. Nope, that's number five. That's not right. Number four, okay, so number four, um, one of the things we wanna bring up before you come here is the fact that buying actually might be cheaper than renting. 
And most people, when they first call us, they said, well, I wanna test out the area. I'm looking to get into a rental. That makes so much sense. However, when people actually come to the state or they start to understand real estate, number one, they know it's a great investment. Uh, I'm gonna put my real estate hat on, kind of put some plugs to the real estate market. We think it's the best investment as far as building wealth because if you look over the progression of time, the market may drop down. However, statistically, it's on a rise. So when you're in a great area like Massachusetts, there's always demand. Uh, so we tell people, if you feel comfortable as far as getting into home ownership, your monthly payment could be a lot cheaper than it is as far as rent is concerned. Um, and again, uh, understanding where those areas are, um, you know, that's of course we are, that's our first job is, is as far as real estate experts is concerned. So if you have questions about the market, whether it's renting or buying or anything in that regards, definitely reach out to us. We, lo we love talking real estate. All right, the last thing we wanna bring up is, is uh, has to do with our real estate market. So one of the things that, um, our prices have appreciated pretty quickly. And you know the, we, we got hit back in the 2006, 2008 with a market crash. Predatory lending, so it's definitely a different scenario. Um, a lot of people are asking now, you know, is that same thing gonna happen? Uh, the market's definitely gonna correct itself eventually. Um, however, like we talked about, historically, you know, real estate across the, the country is on a rise. Um, and what's very interesting for the, um, the Massachusetts, most of our areas, when we got hit with that back in 08, uh, when things dropped down, everything rebounded really really quickly um, you know some of the further out suburbs took a little bit of time to re rebound uh, or to gain their value back um, however Boston itself and the surrounding suburbs was pretty isolated from that so it's one of those things that uh, especially right here right now when people say hey Matt do you, do you think it's a good time to buy a house the first thing I always ask them is what is your plan because if you're looking to sell it in a couple of years, maybe that's not gonna be a good um, move for you because if the market takes a downturn, you could be underwater. Um, however, just understand that when the market, again, when, not if, when the market corrects, it's gonna have a pretty, pretty quick uh, bounce back. And again, people get nervous right here, right now, especially with the interest rates being a little bit higher. However, there's a refi option that, you know, once the interest rates come down again, again, the word when, not if, when interest rates come down again, great time to be able to refinance. However, people are getting excited about purchasing now because of the fact they know that over a couple of years, they'll start to see their equity increase. All right, so that's just a couple of things we wanted you to know about before you come here to Massachusetts. So we know you have lots of questions. We have lots of answers. Uh, definitely reach out to us whatever way you feel comfortable. Uh, we appreciate the support on the channel. We love making the videos for everyone. It's so much fun. We have so many people reaching out. So we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Uh, the biggest thing you got to remember when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.